Hi guys, good to have you all back on my desk today. My flip over January junk journal. Now this is the last page I did. Uh, this was actually Monday's video. It's soft. It's all sorts of soft. It's soft colors, soft textures. It sort of reflects the softer side in me. I, I actually really, really like it. Especially all the beautiful 49 and Market uh, items. I really love that brand. Okay, um, I'm going to flip over the page. I'm going to turn the camera again. And show you guys what I've been struggling with for the past couple of days. So here is the next page. It's actually a vintage um, game piece. This came from a, from a game. This one. Um, it's actually from 1979. I looked it up. It's Lotto or Bingo. It's some sort of match-up game for children. Um, you know, to match this up. I don't exactly know how the game goes. But I, I absolutely love the images. However, it's not botanical. It's not soft. It's not cutesy. It's not vintage. not grungy. It's retro. Let's call it retro. Um, even though these images really make me happy because they remind me of, you know, when I was young and this was around all the time, I have absolutely no clue what to do with them. But I did this to myself because I put one in. <laughs> so, uh, most of you know that I don't like prompts. I don't do prompts. Well, preferably I don't do prompts because they bring me anxiety and they limit me in my sort of creativity. But I actually really wanted to do this page. So I've been thinking about it. I have a, a sort of a plan, but I'm going to warn you in advance. This is not going to be anything fancy smancy or rocket science or I'm going to do something simple. I think I'm going to do something simple, but I want to try it out. Okay, guys. I'm going to use a game card. Now, if you don't have a game card, you can use a bingo card or print out something cutesy on um, heavier cardstock or take out something that you like the image, but you have no clue what to do with them, like playing cards or, or what have you. Okay, so I'm going, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I've been thinking about it all week, guys, but I'm going to do it. So I'm going to show you um, what supplies I'm using give you some alternatives and tell you about my plan so here's my plan i love the card but it's way too bright <laughs> way too happy <laughs> so i'm going to do decoupage now i have done some decoupage on my channel uh, in the past i haven't done it for a long long time so i'm going to put something over it to make it look more vintagey grungy or you know give it a different uh, look than than this uh, the next thing i'm going to do is uh, put on some lovely cards on the bottom because let me show you guys this card is way shorter than the rest of the um, journal so it has some space so i'm thinking to put on a sort of hanging card now i have seen this idea on youtube just the other day and i cannot uh, um no, for sure, because I cannot find the video anymore. I believe it's from the channel Side Gig Crafts. That's a very tough word for Dutch to say. So Side Gig Crafts. Um, I believe she made this like a tag with something, a hanging tag on it. So it's going to be sort of interactive. Oh, do I need to do something on the back then? Probably do, probably do. Um, so decoupaging and then a little bit of decorating. Now, I do have a little bit of problem with the decorating because... Is there so much going on already? What and how? I don't know. I don't know. So, um, this is what we're doing. Let me show you the rest of the supplies. So, for the supplies, I'm very fortunate. I have this game sort of intact. So, I have the small cards that go with it. Uh, if you don't love, just cut out square pieces of cardstock or whatever and decorate those. Or have a bingo card and then playing cards on, on the bottom. Figure it out, figure it out. Okay, now for deco decoupaging, um, I have these. Yes, these are from Mr. Tim Holtz. It's called collage paper. I think I have all of them. <laughs> well, all of them that were available. And they're really, really pretty. And I like them. And I've used them like once. A piece of something once. Maybe twice. So I need to use it. Um... I do like it. I do like them a lot, actually. But I can imagine you don't have this. 
but you might have an oven. I'm going to show you guys. I'm gonna... There you go. Is it in frame? Yes. Napkins. Napkins. I have a lovely collection of all sorts of napkins. Yeah. Um, and I think I'm going to show you um, a trick how to use them. If you've never done napkin uh, decoupage, I'm going to show you uh, the trick. Yeah. So use napkins or collage paper or rice paper. And not in my entire life have I ever used rice paper. But you could use rice paper or something other um, transparent. Okay. Now for um, gluing, I'm using I'm using Mr. Tim Holtz. However, this is collage medium matte. You could also use what's what was the other one? Multi-media mats. I don't know the difference. It's just glue. <laughs> it's just glue. But if you don't have this, you might have Mod Podge. Now, I I personally don't enjoy Mod Podge that much. But if I do use it, I thin it with a little bit of water. So, you're going to need some uh, liquid glue and a brush. Yeah? Now, if you don't have Mod Podge or this, but you have some sort of white glue, some school glue or Elmer's glue, I, I'm i just dropping names that I don't even know about, guys. Just, you know, what I know from YouTube because we don't have Elmer's glue here. Some white uh, liquid glue, just thin it out with um, a little bit of water. You could do this, basically, um, especially if you're going to do uh, uh, this with glue stick. Just glue it to the to the surface. However, I'm going to put a coat on it. That's why I'm using this. Yeah. Okay. Now for um, attaching the cards, I have these are called jumped rings. Just small little rings. These happen to be from Mr. Tim Holtz, but you know, maybe have some if you're a jeweler maker or or what have you. So so small rings to attach them. If you don't have this, guys, you can also attach it. With a piece of string and then tie a bow and attach it that way. So no worries, you don't need this. But if you do, use it because how else are we going to use it? Now, for the rest of the sort of decorating, I want to grunge it up. So I have all my brown inks. Still no, still, I want to say still no fallen leaves. Of course I have fallen leaves. Still no scorched timber, guys. I'm going to pick it up uh, tomorrow at Do A Ding. Uh, but I've, I've taken out all my brown ones. I'm going to do some... Um, distressing i think i want to do some stenciling i have my um splatter stamp uh, stencil out from mr tim holtz the ths 009 and i might do some stamping also stamping yes some stamping now other than that for decorating i'll probably get out some bits and bobs but no clue maybe some poster stamps some labels something stickers who knows what I can come up with. But first let me show you how I'm going to decoupage. So for decoupaging with a napkin and just glue stick. Let me just show you how I do it without all the fancy smancy stuff that I have. Yes. Take out your napkin. Now a napkin is normally two or three layers. You probably have some with four layers. But those are probably expensive. So don't touch those. So you have the top layer. Which is the one that we want. And then the layers underneath. Now very cheap um, napkins have two layers. But most of them have three. How do you find out? Well, I take a piece of tape. And I'm going to flip it over. Start in. I'm going to start in a corner. Put my tape on. And then sort of gently peel it. Then you have the first layer. There we go. Gently just remove it. Now I normally keep these. For when I want to do something that is wet. <laughs> okay. Uh, but how do you know if there's still a layer? Well, if you're going to ask yourself, there's probably another one. So that's why I just mainly, I'm not going to go in the middle. I always use a corner. So I'm going to go back in a corner, put my tape on, and then sort of try to rip it again. And there it goes. Just gently, guys. And there's another layer here. Yes, there it is. You could try to fiddle around with it at the top, but no. With these nails? No. Now, I almost know for certain there's not another layer here. But just, you know, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to put this on again and then rip it. 
and then either nothing ha happens or you just rip your napkin. This is actually a very good napkin because it doesn't rip. So you just need one layer. If you're gonna put on two layers, the top layer will probably get loose at some point. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be demonstrating on a small card. These are lovely butterflies. I'm just taking out my scissors, cutting something out. I think I want to use, well, let's use the lovely blue butterfly here and maybe the small one. Yes. So this is going to go on here. Yeah. I will need something underneath. Just in case it gets a little bit messy. Now, um, oh no, I'm using glue stick. I'm not doing the messy stuff yet. Glue stick. Well, you need lots of glue stick, guys. I am demonstrating this on a small piece. If you're going to do a whole page, that's a whole different story. A story I wouldn't recommend a glue stick then. Please get some um, sort of liquid glue. Don't be stingy with the, with the glue, guys. Just put enough on, especially on all the corners and the edges. You only get one try at this, so... There you go. There you go. Gently press it. Gently press it. If there's sort of wrinkles or bubbles, try to sort of straighten them. But most of the time, then you will rip your... Uh, napkin so do it like so there we go putting a little bit more pressure on the edges yes now you can do this in several different ways um, you can get a, a wet brush out and then wet your uh, with a wet brush go all around the edges like so and then you gently rip it off or you could just take scissors which is what I'm going to do I'm just gonna take my scissors and and cut it. There we go. Now we have a card with butterflies and uh, traffic signs in the back. <laughs> See, decoupage, decoupage. Yeah. So this is how you do it with with napkins. The trick for me was the tape. The tape and just try it in a corner guys and just keep doing it until you're very very certain that you have the top layer layer otherwise you would glue down uh, this and it would just look like this well that could work as well because then you mute it uh, sort of the whole thing okay yeah now i've shown you this trick i'm going to use the tim holt stuff now, in order for me to motivate myself to use it, I've taken off a, a piece of every roll that I have. Um, and I've put it on my desk in plain sight, hoping it will get noticed and used, uh, which is apparently today. So this has been sort of on my desk. <laughs> um, I have lovely colorful cards. So I think I want to use some black and white on here. I do not know all the names, guys. Uh, some of them, this probably came with sort of field notes or what have you, but this is an older one. This came from Palette, the Palette Collection. I don't know, something probably with botanicals. So these are my black and white ones. I think this is called Typography. Yeah, are these the black and white ones I have? I'm missing one. Oh yes, I'm missing one. Why don't I have this one? Um, I'm missing this one. What was it called? Photographic. Photographics with all the people. This one. Because I've used this one. <laughs> I know. I've used this one. Does it go with... No. I think I'm going to use um, typography and the other ones. Are you? Yes. Not the colored ones. So, bye-bye, colored ones. See you later. Now I have some small cards. The small cards I am going to sort of pick some stuff out like you know this and this and this but for the big one i'm using typography yeah made a decision yes yes 
Now this works a little bit different than uh, napkins. It won't rip as easy. So I'm going to cut it. Leaving a little bit of room on all sides, guys. There you go. I uh, need something underneath because this is going to be messy. Yep. What am I using? I don't know. This one. Either this one or this one. It's either or with me, guys. I have used it because, you know, I can see there's a difference. Okay, just a brush. And I'm going to basically put glue all over it. Now you need to let this dry. You could use uh, a heat gun if you have. Um, I think I'm going to let it air dry for a little while. But you won't notice it because, you know, I'm going to pause the video then. Have enough on here, love. Okay. Piece of paper. Uh, is it upside down? No, some parts are upside down, but yeah. Do it from the middle and then sort of spread it out. Now this works much nicer than the... If I, you're going to do this with napkins, like I'm doing it now, you will rip the napkin. But this won't rip. Well, I'm hoping it won't rip. So I'm brushing out the wrinkles. Yes. And then I'm going to put another layer on top of it. Why? I don't know. That's what they told me to do. So that's what I'm doing. It's not necessary at all, but you know, Mr. Holtz told me to do this, so I'm doing it, Mr. Holtz. Not a lot, just a bit to coat it and to make sure that it, it will stay on. Yeah? Like so. Okay, I'm gonna let it dry. Ooh, while I'm letting it dry, I have space somewhere on the floor. I have floor heating, so it will dry quickly, probably. Where are the small cards? These ones. Let's just do these while the other piece is drying. Um, oh, I like this. Isn't that fantastic? With the bug. Another bug. Are you doing another bug? Yes. Well, apparently I'm doing another bug. Or half a, half a bug. Going to do half a buck. Okay, layer underneath. There we go. Putting this on. Layer on top. Now I've used less of the glue. I think that's the way to go, guys. Don't use a lot of glue. Oops. Next, next. Butterfly. Oh yes, let's do butterfly. Maybe it's handy if you have both your hands free. Oh yeah, that looks cute. So apparently I'm doing bugs and butterflies. Maybe I could do something with butterflies on it. Ooh, that's that's crooked, love. So you would, would not be able to do this uh, with a napkin and glue stick. Then it would be ruined. Yes, last one. Ooh, that's a big bug. Or do we want to do the number? With a bug, apparently. Uh, again, let go of the glue. 
Are you okay? This paper is filled with um, stamps from Field Notes. One of my favorite ones. Yeah, I like so. Oh, I'm so hoping uh, that he will um, have another stamp set like Eccentric or Fields Notes this year. So hoping. With lots of small ones on it that you can use on multiple projects. But who knows? There we go. Yeah? Okay. Done all of them. Now I'm going to let them dry. I think they're dry. And I just, guys, I just used my scissors and I've cut all around them. You know, done. Done. Um, I don't think they need a lot of grunging. However, I do want to add a little bit to it. So I'm taking out frayed burlap and tea dye. I'm going to be using my, my brushes. First, I'm going to use tea dye and just sort of try to distress it a little bit. Will it take the ink? Oh, yes. Just, you know, here and there. Now, I, I know for certain that stamping on it, not a good idea. Unless you use archival ink. Now, I do have those, but I don't just, I don't enjoy uh, stamping with archival ink. Don't ask me why. I don't know. I just prefer my um first fine so a little bit of aging there we go yes grunchy already um i'm taking out another color i am what are you doing walnut stain oh, i cannot wait to get my hands on Scorched timber tomorrow. I'm gonna get it tomorrow. What am I using? Walnut stain. I'm gonna use this for all around edges. See, I like so. And uh, oh, yeah, coffee dye. Yeah, I need to do um, some stenciling. Let's do some stenciling. Where's my stencil? Oh, it's here. It's here. And for this, I'm probably using what I'm gonna do over here the frayed burlap. Let's see how this looks. Yes, just a little bit here and there to sort of grunge it up. See, it's no longer the bright and happy and colorful whatever. <laughs> I need something underneath for these. Here's one. Oh yeah, that one looks cool. Look at that. <laughs> Here's this one. Also nice, and the last one. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use walnut stain to sort of ink all around them. I do need to punch these. I'm going to use my crocodile for this probably. And then for decorating, I don't know. I still don't know, guys. Let me do some inking all around and let me come up with a plan for decorating. So after some brainstorming, butterflies it is. So I can do this a couple of different ways. I have rub-ons, I don't think rub-ons will work on this. I have washi sticker, I have die cuts, I have all sorts, but I also have these. These are actually patches that you iron on, you know, your jeans or on a piece of clothing. I've had these in my stash since forever. Uh, I'm gonna use one of them. So it's going to be a butterfly. 
I'm thinking the colorful one, but maybe this. And then I have some labels. Now, these labels are made by the wonderful Tony from Crafts by Tony. Uh, I met up with her last year. She was in the Netherlands for an Elizabeth Craft Designs the retreat. And she gifted me all these fantastic labels. Also been on my desk, just admiring them. And I'm going to use a couple of them. Yeah, so here's the plan. I have a small one. I have a big one. I have this one. So I want to double label this. Like so. Put on this or the other butterfly. One of those. I'm going to stamp on the labels first. Then these, of course, are going to go all on the bottom. Yeah. I'm going to use part of this label and the part of the label that I'm cutting off here. So I'm going to use these three labels. And do some stamping. Right? I think so. I think so. So first, I'm just going to mark where I'm going to be um, cutting this label. Yes, because I want to use the the lower part. So you're gonna just going to eyeball it. And take a piece out. Okay. So I'm using this and two sides of this. Using this here. Yeah. Where was it? This goes here. Yep. Then I have this. It could go. I do not want I do not want to cut up the butter the cover of the butterfly, of course. Neither the word butterfly. So maybe I'm gonna do this. It's too big, just maybe in the corner here, and then I have another piece up there or well this is not a label. New, 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 new. So this here. This, there, and this here. Right? Okay. First, stamping. Let's do some stamping. So I've taken out field notes because, you know. And um, actually, moth studies. Yes, moth studies. Because it has moths on them. Slash, I'm going to call them butterflies. Now, I'm not going to put butterflies on this one. Uh, because of obvious reasons. Already butterfly there. Uh, there's also a butterfly here, but I do want to have part of a butterfly. Where was it going here? Maybe on the bottom. Well, here. I don't know. I don't know. But I need half a butterfly. It's too big with smaller wings. Do we have something with smaller wings? Yes, I'm using fallen leaves. Of course, I am. Okay, there you go, little butterfly. I'm gonna test it out. Oh, yes. Oh, beautiful color on this. Yes, it does need the tiniest number there. Oh, it has the figure, the figure one or the figure whatever. This one. You think it, we, we can manage? Looking for a small stamp block. Well... There we go. Figure one. Oh yeah, perfect. Perfect. Figure one. Okay, where was it going here? Um yes, it needs a little bit of inking.
Yes. I have, I have my foam tape out. Do we want to put some foam tape? I think so, to add a little bit of dimension to the project. Sometimes, guys, you don't have a plan. Just the inspiration comes as you're making stuff. I need a little bit of help with this. Because of nails. Let go, thank you. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it. Do you want to do another one? Let's see. This one went here. So another butterfly. And then another something there. Book number something. Will that fit? We'll make it fit. As low as possible. Stamping half butterflies, just fun. <laughs> it's just fun. So this was gonna go here, right? I'm going to put this on with the foam tape as well, um, but not this high. So I need to cut off a little bit. Yes, already butterfly here. So I'm not doing butterflies. What are you doing then? Um, mm, mm, mm. It will not hold field label, but it will hold. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to do this. Name of a remitter. Don't fall off. There. Oh yeah, cool. Yes. And this goes here. Perfect. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ink them up. Put them on with the foam tape. And then I'm going to concentrate on these two. Small labels are done. Now let's do the big ones. Um, I'm thinking collect here. Yes, and then figure this or, no, that's too big. Um, figure one and two, no, not book. We also, this book. Oh, I have the one from the, from the moss study. So yeah, well, blah, blah, blah. This. Yep. This. One at a time. There we go. Collect. And I don't even know what this says. Something in New York. Yep. And then on the big one. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm just going to do field label. Because it actually fits on here. Press hard. Yep. 
is actually the way you should uh, ink your stamps, guys. Not the other way around. There we go. Yep. So this goes here and here. Already love it. Then a butterfly goes here. So it needs a thing here. I was thinking to do this one. Am I going to lose the number? I do not want to lose the number, of course. Oh yeah, pretty, pretty. Okay, inking it up, all of it. And for this, I think um, there's a little bit of white here, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do that right away. I'm gonna try to see if this works. Oh yeah, that works. I want to get rid of sort of the white stitching on there. Well, that worked. But I'm going to glue it with Drippy, my hot glue gun. I will also use some tape underneath. But first, I, I think I just want to attach these to one another. Um, use art. Sure. Just here. There we go. I could have put this one on and then this one with tape, but you know, I didn't, but I didn't. Okay. Now it probably needs lots more um, of this tape, but I only have this piece, so I'm <laughs> not going to do a lot of tape. Probably needs more stuff in the middle. So all the card makers now are going, no, you need to put stuff everywhere. Well, I am not going to. I'm a rebel. A little bit over here. Yes, I'm going to do one in the middle. Let go. Hello, thank you. Let go. I'm just going to do this. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's stuck. It's stuck. Well, be stuck on the paper, not on my fingers. There you go. Okie doke. Oh yeah, it's going to look cool. That, it's not even recognizable. If I put another uh, one of these cards next to it, you won't even recognize it. But it's just a lot of interest um, in the background because you do notice stuff. And if you don't know what's behind all the decorating, you're, you're like, what? What actually is it? it? Has nothing to do with butterflies, nor entomology, or field notes, or whatever. No, it's a traffic lesson. <laughs> you know, talking about eclectic, yeah. Okay. I do not want the butterfly to stick out of the page. Or made it maybe the tiniest bit, but not a lot. There you go. Yes. Yes. And then I'm going to glue this with Drippy. Hoping Drippy is up for it today. Oh, look at this. Please don't. We need to wait until Drippy turns green. There it goes. Did I put glue here? No, you don't. Oh, good thing. Oh, yes. I 
love it. I love it. This goes here and here. Yeah, with... Oh, we need to put in the rings. Let's do the rings. Okay, as for the rings, guys, I have six of them. Because two, two, two. It's mm, six. Um, if I put all the cards against each other, it fits. But I want them to sort of dangle separate from one another. So I'm going to move this slightly bit over here and here. So they will all sort of hang free. Just the tiniest, just the tiniest bit. So I have not thought about this. I'm just going to add, put on two dots. Um, I'm going to put a ring here. And, well, probably there. Is that, is that enough space? I don't even know. <laughs> Am I doing this right? And um, uh, here. So first, I'm punching holes there. Am I going to use my crocodile with the smallest setting? Isn't that a little bit much? Too big? I wish I had a smaller uh, hole punch, but I don't. So yeah, I'm just using this. Why not? Where, where did I mark it? There. Yeah. Now, oh, already opened up a couple of rings. Because that is a trick. I'm going to show you a how, guys. But first, let's see how much room do I have. Oh, it'll work. It'll work. Okay, let go ring. Later. You can come back later. There you go. So, here's what I'm doing. I'm just going to put it on there. Yeah. A little bit higher. No. Here. And. Is it straight? Yeah. Here and here. There's probably a much easier way. Yeah. Most likely. Oh, that's the wrong side. <laughs> there we go. This goes. Here, was that too low? Mm, just, just about. And here. I think it's going to work. Guys, I'm going to show you. I have this ring. Doesn't work with this size. <laughs> I cannot do anything with my nails. So you have these uh, jump rings. Now I'm not a jewelry maker. But this is what I've been taught. If you want to open it up. Don't open it up like so. But so. So I have this here. And this one here. See you move them like so. So don't op open it up this way. Is this smart? This is not smart. Guys, before, before I put these in, I'm going to punch all the holes. That is smart. So I'm going to repeat the steps here and here. Okay, all the holes are punched. Let's try this again. Uh, I'm going to start with the middle one. Putting this card in and then putting it on here. Yes, taking out my second set of tweezers, pliers, or what have you, and then move them towards each other. Done. Done. Let me show you another one. For some reason, I was thinking, start in the middle, that might be, uh, you know, the most handy. I, But I don't know why. I have no reason for it. You could also use your fingers. <laughs> yes. Well, just put them through. And then take out your pliers. Or Oh, it is cute. Look at that. 
Oh, I love it. Love it. So I'm going to do these as well. And then we need to repunch the holes here, put on hole reinforcers. So there's the hole reinforcers. I repunched the holes. Guys, I did not put any hole reinforcers on here because there's too little space. There's not enough room here to put on hole reinforcers on both of them. And, you know, so I didn't. So I didn't. Yeah, I cannot believe how different this looks to the original um, card. It's unrecognizable, but cool. But really cool. Are we going to do it this way? Well, apparently I'm doing it this way. Also decided not going to decorate the back. I actually don't. I actually just decorated one of the pages thus far on the back. All the other ones are still uh, blank. That's quite all right. You could do a reflip and then do all the backs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. I think it's cool. Does it need anything else? I was thinking maybe to put something on the butterfly. Um, but that might make it... Or maybe one a label. Ooh. Ooh. Or a label. Or a label. I have this one. I have a very small label in here. She made these with Tim Holtz uh, frame set. With the die set and the stamp set. Well, it's probably just a die set. I tried the, to make these work. Um, yeah. I'm not even going to talk about it. Where's the small one? I have a small, tiny, tiny one. This one. But uh, then I need to ink it. And stamp something on it. Or just take out another label. <laughs> Take out your label box. Yes, I think a label will look like fantastic on it. Bags of all kinds. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense at all. Let's see, what else do I have? Apothecary and druggist. Mm. Nothing. Wilt with field labels or notes or Fox Studio. It's a butterfly. Ooh. Isn't that too big? It is, but I don't. I don't care. I just love this one. Looks like it has had tape on it. I'm just gonna do it. Oh, uh, let's do it with foam tape. Really? Are you gonna do it with foam tape? Will that hold? Hoping it will. I thought it was done. Apparently, I'm not. Oh, good positioning, love. Yes. Arthur B. As in Miller. Does it hold? Oh, it does. It does. Oh, yes. Too cool. Too cool. Fantastic. I'm going to put it back in a journal. Let's look at the end result. I didn't think I was going to like this one because I just couldn't come up with a plan for the original. This is the original, guys. It's just, it's unrecognizable. Completely different. Love this, but I didn't know how to make it even lovelier than this. Well, then you do with this. Isn't it cool? Oh, I really like it. It's, it's totally different. But I do think the sort of the colors... In the back, you cannot even figure out what it really is. It does add a lot. It is just so cool. So, I'm going to flip the camera again and let's look at all the details. Well, here she is. Uh, I'm also happy I found a spot for the butterfly. I had a couple of these. I think about four or five of them. I cannot even remember where I got them. These patches that you probably iron on a piece of clothing or sew them on. Uh, I found a lovely spot. Yeah, I cannot get over the fact that it used to look like this amazing right really like it um well the butterfly's name is apparently arthur b miller i don't know <laughs> really love it yeah i love there's sort of a 3d effect going on i could have used my splatter stamp but there's also already so much uh going on and then with the lovely dangles if you have been paying attention you know that this was actually here but I had a sort of specific order to these cards. So I had to remove them and put them back on again. But it worked. It worked. Yeah. It is just 
the coolest. See, guys, that's what happens. I'm like, I don't know, I'm going to try something, but it's probably not going to work out. And then something amazing happens. Absolutely love it. Guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. I really liked it. Well, especially the end result. Try, try it with napkins, guys, if you don't have the Tim Holtz uh, collage paper. And do it on a bingo card or normal playing card or on scrapbook paper that you actually don't really like or want to have muted or what have you. Okay, uh, I have a small announcement. Most of you are expecting this Sunday the what's up, what's new. But here's what's going on. Um, there is no 49er market yet at Duoding. It has been, post I don't know, it's not there yet. So hopefully it's there next week. I really want to wait for the new, um, new collection to show you everything. I will, however, pick up, again, I wanted to say fallen leaves, uh, scorched timber this weekend. So I'm going to have a play with it. Well, Monday for sure. So guys, enjoy your weekend. Yeah, I'll be back again this Monday with another project. Do you want to have a sneak peek? It's this. Yes, this came from a photo album. I can make pocket here and then I can do all sorts. So I'm going to think about it. Okay, enjoy your weekend, guys. Until Monday. Bye.